What makes a Fox body old school? Well, for starters, it's got to have a pushrod V8, right? Now, stock is obviously fine for old school, but if you're going modified, the bolt-ons play an important part, with the biggest visual engine mod, of course, being the intake manifold. The number one on my list of old school intakes, for those of you guys that watch the channel, you might already know I'm a big fan of the GT40 tubular. But if we're going back to when the 5 liter scene kind of started to explode, the Cobra and the Explorer are a really great option as well. And of course, if you could find it, the Saline Vortex. Another engine mod that gives you that real retro feel is just a big old K&N air filter attached to the end of the mass air meter. And so an oil cap like this will really make you feel like you went back in time as well. So for the interior, once again, stock works as well. But nothing screams 1990s like a big old auto meter tack mounted to the cluster surround with a couple of two and five eighths gauges in the center vents. You combine that with a T handle or a white shifter knob on top of a shorty shifter, and you've really got that retro vibe happening. One of my favorite old school accessories for the interior is the halo headrests. And if you really want to feel like you've traveled back in time with an aero car, swap to the 79 to 86 Recaro seats. So if we're going to round out an old school interior, nothing would be complete without a Sony Explode CD player or one of the Panasonics with the graphics on it, as well as a couple subs in the trunk or the hatch. And I almost forgot guys, at one point white face gauges were all the rage, and that brings us to these. So as we switch to the outside on an old school car, original will get the job done. But if we're going to a modified retro look, we need a cowl or ram air hood. A lot of guys wouldn't have the money to pay to have the hood painted, so they just run around in that natural gel coat finish. And an honorable mention, of course, would go to the saline wing. And so for us Canadians, a detch kit will really feel like you just pumped 1.21 gigawatts worth of power into that flux capacitor and traveled back to the 90s. So for a couple of GT specific items, leave the GT cheese grater taillights in the back of the car. And another mod that used to be done that you don't see too much of today is cutting a couple of holes straight through the bumper and running a couple of three inch tips right out the back of the car. Now for you street strip guys out there, this look would not be complete without a couple of gauges mounted on top of the cowl. You know the ones, auto meter and a couple of chrome or black cups mounted right by the windshield wipers. Now, our mod list would be nowhere near complete without these guys. The set of GTS headlight and taillight covers. There weren't many 5 liters around back in the day that weren't running a set of these. And with that in mind, we can't forget the bra. Who can forget the bra? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any real great pictures of it, but I have just the top piece mounted on the hood. And so guys, moving on, we can't forget about sound. If you have a B303 or any letter cam, that will give you the soundtrack required to make this old school ride sound right. However, there's one more very important thing that we need to make this sound right. No retro Stang will ever be complete without these. A pair of Flowmaster mufflers. Whether you have the cam or not, the old school 5.0 needs the Flowmaster mufflers. And don't forget, two chamber, of course, gotta be loud. Now, as with any vehicle, wheels make the car. Ponies, obviously a great choice, but there are several great wheels that are old school. Remember, they need to be 4-bolt, of course, unless they're covered by a center cap. But if you really want to be rolling in your 5.0, any 5-spoke wheel will do, as long as it's chrome, polished, or in its natural finish. So for you street strip guys out there, big and little drag lights are the wheel to have. And so moving on, here are a few more of my favorites that I just need to mention. We have a wheel that was fairly rare back in the day, even rarer today, but they're the Borbits. So now we have to move on to one of my all-time favorites, the ROH ZS. However, we can't forget about the mesh wheels, as these were one of the earliest options available at the time. So around the late 90s, these seemed to be everywhere. None other than the Cobra R. Now, one thing I forgot to mention up to this point is the windshield banner. It was very common back in the day to be representing your favorite performance shop. Now, this one is hard to beat. Even I can't do it. If you bought your Fox brand new, had a trailer hitch on it, hauled a snowmobile and a sea dew you might just be OG old school. If you happen to be wearing white sneakers while driving your Fox body, you might just be old school too. I know I am. All right guys, finally, if you wanna see an old school mod that you may have forgotten about or maybe never seen before, check out this video right here.